Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome to Eben Tech Studio. Thank you very much for watching my videos online. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video, share, and then comment. And if you need any assistance or you want to purchase any of these devices that is demonstrated in the video, you can contact from the, um, the numbers displayed on the screen. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of getting sound or picking sound from your mixing console into your PC using the docking station for live streaming or recording. So this video is not necessarily going to be about um, getting a video from a camera into your PC, but actually picking the sound to accompany your video using vMix, OBS, Audacity, or Audition for recording or streaming. So without wasting much time, let's get um, into a presentation file that I've prepared and then demonstrate on how we are able to get sound from our mixing console into our PC. So it says picking sound from your mixing console into your PC using docking station. So I'm going to use this particular docking station, Lenovo USB 2.0 port replicator with digital video. So I will do the unboxing, but first of all, I would explain how we are going to get the sound from the um, the mixing console and then into our dock station. So our docking station is having a microphone port and then um, a headphone port. So we are going to use this port as um, um, our microphone. Okay, so this docking station connects to your PC using the USB cable, USB 2.0 cable. So now let's move to uh, input types um, and then our output types. So different output for picking sound on the mixing board. So I'm using this mixer picture as an example. So from here, I'm going to demonstrate using this cable. So this is a XLR to um, mini jack or 3.5 mm jack. You can call it one over eight mini jack or um, 3.5 mm jack. So now this particular cable, if you look at um, the back of your mixing board or on top of it, so you would identify some um, some output ports. So for instance, let's say I can pick sound from output one to six, um, the main and uh, the main right and left, um, that one will be going into my speaker. That is the auditorium speaker. So I wouldn't be using that, but I would like to pick any of the six or the five. Now, if I use this cable, if I'm using this cable, this particular cable, um, if this particular cable is um, was made to be a stereo cable, that means if it is made to be a stereo cable, then that means I, will, I can pick a stereo sound from the mixing console or the mixer board if only the output for instance output six um so read from the manual from your um your the manufacturer of the mixing board if the output xlr any of the xlr output is um stereo if they have made it stereo then this cable will, will be good to go you can use this cable so you just plug in this um, XLR connector into one of the outputs here, into one of the outputs here. So for instance, output six, and then you will get a stereo sound. So both the left and the right sound will just um, be flowing. You will get a sound from the left and the right. That is only when this port has been configured by the manufacturer to be a stereo out. But if each of these ports is a mono port, then you need a cable like this. So this is XLR. And then one of them is mono, another one is mono. So in this case, I'm going to plug one into five and then one into, um, I'm going to plug one into six and then the other one, the other connector into five. Why am I doing so? I'm doing so because um, perhaps yours, uh, your mixer might be a mono out, a mono XLR out. So in that case, each of these uh, outputs is mono, not stereo. So if it is a mono, then that means you have to plug in two just to get a stereo sound. So one will go into the six, one will go into the five. But if your manufacturer says that each, each of these XLR ports is a stereo, then that means you need this cable, only uh, a single XLR cable just to pick a sound from because you get, um, um, how do you call it, the stereo sound. And most of the digital mixes have stereo xlr output that is a single port can give you a stereo output now another alternative is that you can pick a sound from from um the aux out using the 
uh, RCA cable. So this is RCA cable. Now I told you, um, you see the mini jack or the 3.5 mm will connect to, um, will connect over here, will connect to. It's going to connect to this port. It's going to connect to the to the red port. That is the microphone port. So let me reduce this image. So it's going to connect to the to the microphone port. That is the mini jack. And then we have the um the the red and the white. It's a mono cable. So one of them is the white will go into the L and the and the red one will go into the R. So you get um you get your sound from the aux out um the aux out. So you connect um sometimes you would see record out or rec out. That is the RC how you see out. So sometimes you might not see aux out, but you see record out. So we just connect depending on your mixer, pick the sound from this that is when you have this cable available when you are using this cable and then let's come to a cable like this um so this is quarter inch cable that is um, the jack so quarter inch to mini jack or 3.5 mm jack so in this case i can pick sound when i'm using this um each of these cable is a mono cable so i'm going to pick from uh, one and two or two and three or four and three or five and four or any of them so um and then i plug in the mini jack into my my microphone port on the docking station just to get a sound so now let's move to the unboxing of the the unboxing of the um the docking station that i'm going to use so i'm going to show you the features and then what sport is us and then the interfaces all right lovely viewers so let us unbox this um lenovo docking station and then see what we have in the box so first of all i'm going to um open it up and then let's see what we can do with it and then let's see the components that comes with um this dock station so i'm going to open it so we have here a dex or a cd containing the um, device drivers for installing this device you can also download the drivers from online or insert the cd to um, install the drivers on your pc so we also have a manual over here um a lenovo usb 2.0 actually it's a replicator port replicator or a docking station so we have a manual here and then now we also have the dock station itself so there's the dock station the device itself and then we have our usb cable here um this seven as an interface cable for the device so uh, that means um we are going to use this to connect the dock station to um to the pc okay and then we have a oh, okay um, i think there is the hero type or um the connector the power connector okay so we have another um connector here that we can connect it to the power adapter for a different plug um, socket and then we have another adapter here okay so this adapter is um is um dvi to vg adapter that means we can convert from the dvi display or port to um, a VG monitor. Okay. So what else do we have? We have the base for the dock station that, um, that we can put the we can fix the dock station on to serve as the stand or something or this is the base 
for the docking station. So now let's remove um, this over here and then let's see what we have in there. Okay, so we have another box. Um, it contains the power adapter. So I'm going to open it right here. Inside this box, we have the power adapter for the dock station. So this is the power adapter. So now let's talk about the features of this dock station, okay? So um, we will start from the back. I'm going to talk about the interface ports and all of those things, um, the things we have here. So now we have two USB 2.0 ports and then Ethernet port right here um, for your Ethernet connection or LAN connection. And then we have a DVI um, video port over here too. And then we have our USB Type B um, 2.0 connection. So the cable will go right here from here. You connect it to your PC. This will serve as the interface and then the data cable between your computer and then the docking station. This is where we connect our power cable. And then this, um, thing this is for locking up our device um, to a DEX or anything that we might, we might put our device on. So now let's go to the front of the, of the docking station. So when we come to the front of the docking station, this is where my interest is. Um, so we have a microphone port and then we have a headphone port and then we have another two USB 2.0 speed ports. So we are going to connect our microphone to this side and then we are going to connect um, our headphone to the headphone port. Now let's come back to connecting the devices and setting it up. So I have um, this thing here. I have the convector here. Imagine if you are using a VGA display uh, or you have a VGA monitor, you connect this thing right here and then you add the VGA monitor to it. So this adapter wouldn't be necessary if you have a, a DVI display monitor. It wouldn't be necessary because um, you have a, a, a DVI cable connection to your um, DVI monitor. So I think DVI has a high resolution than VGA and then if your monitor is having a DVI connection then I I would advise that you use that one than the VGA because VGA is a low signal. So now I fixed um, I fixed it on the stand or the base and then it's fixed here right now so what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to connect the power the power um, adapter to it Okay, so if you have a socket that um, you can connect this type of plug into, that is fine. But if you don't have this type of connection, then that means you would have to use this. Okay, but in my case, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to maintain this one because my extension um, board supports this type of um, power plugs, um, power connectors. So... Um, I, would, I wouldn't need this, so I wouldn't use this. But in case you want to use this one to make sure that your um, your extension board has a port for this, okay? So right now, um, I've connected the power cable and then I want to connect my interface cable to as well. So this is the interface cable that I have to connect. So I'm going to fix it here. I'm going to fix it here and this USB is going directly into my my PC so I'm going to connect it into my PC right now all right so now to the um, physical connection of the um, the mixer to the docking station I'm going to use this quarter inch cable to connect um, or get the sound from the mixer into the docking station the mini jack will go into the docking station and then for the sound so i'm going to use this stereo um quarter inch connection so let me show you my mixer 
I'm using a Yamaha MG24 mixer for this particular tutorial. Now to the back of the mixing console, I'm going to pick the sound from aux 3 and 4. So um, these are my output. I'm going to pick it from 3 and 4. The reason why I'm not using the 1 and 2 is that it's already occupied. I'm using it for something else. So with my stereo cable, I'll connect one of them to the 3. And then the other one beneath it to the port, port 4. That is the aux 4. So I'm going to connect it to that side. And then the mini jack. So the mini jack is going straight into the microphone of the dock station. So now on the mixing console, I'm going to show you the reason why I use the aux for the recording or for the streaming, picking the sound through the aux. So um, here I have aux 3 and 4, so I'll be able to manipulate the levels of aux 3 and 4 for each line of instrument that goes into the, um, the docking station. So for example, when I come to the kick and the kick is too loud, uh, I need not to touch the levels of the kick that goes directly into the speakers but just to manipulate it three and four aux so that the volume going into the streaming or the recording is reduced so as we can see this level that i've touched is the main volume that is going into the speakers uh out so that is the auditorium speakers that that goes in there but um when you have the aux you are picking the sound from the aux um, for example, the keyboard like this, if the keyboard is too loud, I need not to touch this. I just go to aux 3 and 4. That is where I'm picking the sound from and then I reduce it or increase it. So that is one of the advantage of um, using the aux for the recording. So each line of instrument um, that is connected has its own aux 3 and 4. So I can manipulate the sound that goes in. So for example, the corded mic, I'll be able to touch the aux 3 and 4 and increase the volume or decrease the volume that goes into the um into the pc another alternative is to use the lca um to the mini jack the 3.5 mm cable for your recording so here um the mini jack will still go into our docking station microphone and then the red and white is going into our um into our uh, record out that is the red and the white um port so we are going to insert it right here and then that is where we are going to pick the sound from alternatively when we are not using the jack connection so we insert the red and then beneath it is the white so make sure that you see from um you you look at where they are threatening the record out and then fix it right there so when you are done this one will go straight into the mic of the doctor All right, so now that we have connected our docking station to the um, mixing board for getting sound from the mixing board into our PC, I'm going to show you how you'll be able to add the docking station microphone um, in your OBS vMix or Audacity or Audition for recording or for streaming. So without wasting much time, I'm going to open Audacity software. But before I do that, um, let's check and see from our sound settings, okay? um in windows so i'll open the control panel so when you open control panel this is the control panel you go to hardware and sound okay so move to hardware and sound and then open the sound so the sound panels open and then when the sound panel is open so currently i'm playing a song from my mixing board and then i want to um record it in into my pc using any of the streaming software or the recording software so now when i come to uh, my recording tab i will see my docking station microphone showing up here so this particular docking station that Novo one has the name um, microphone that is usb multimedia audio device so this is the name that i'll use to um i can identify or uh, I can identify or see in the audio inputs or sources in any software that I open or media software that I open. So I'm playing a song currently from my mixing board um, into my docking station and then right here in the PC. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how you'll be able to hear yourself and then see if your, the sound is getting into your PC. Now you can see if 
you can see if the sound is getting into your PC by reading the level. So there is a song playing um, from my mixing board. So now I'm going to show you how you can listen when you have connected a, a headphone to your your docking station or your uh, even your PC um, headphone port. So you double click on it and then you choose listen. When you choose the listen uh, tab, so make sure you double click on this one or you right click and choose properties, microphone properties. Then you come to listen and then you check this. Once you check it, you click on apply. Mm -hmm. Once I check it off, the sound stops playing, but it doesn't mean that there is no sound coming in. The sound is still coming in. Now I can come here and then increase or decrease the volume of the um, the microphone. So right now it's set to 12. I can increase or decrease it. So when you think the sound is very low, um, then you can increase the microphone volume from here or you can reduce it when it's high. So I'm going to leave it at 12 because I'm just I'm playing a song and the song is too loud. So I just have to reduce it. Uh -huh. But if you think you would want to increase it, depending on what levels you have, you can increase or decrease it. And then you click on OK. So in my case, um, I'll leave it as it is. And then now let me show you something. You come to um, speakers. Now, when you come to speakers, uh, the docking station, the headphone is called um, speakers USB multimedia audio device. I've already told you that um, you can connect a headset headphone to the the headphone jack on the dock station so this is it um right now i haven't connected any headphone to it so i'm not hearing anything to it but i want to show you something about the loud volume or the loud feature about this one so when you come to custom you will see um, you double click on it to open the speaker properties or you right click and then you choose properties and then you come to the tab uh, the custom tab you see loudness so this particular docking station can boost the sound um, beyond certain volume without without necessarily without necessarily having to um So the loudness feature will allow you to boost the sound and then uh, when it's unchecked, it will pick a normal volume levels. So, but it wouldn't distort the sound even when it's set to loudness. So this is one of the future. It gives a good sound and then yes, there is no distortion in the sound or noise. So let's move to our recording. So now we have been able to identify, we have been able to identify our microphone over here so what we have to do is that now we are going to bring in the sound in our other city software so let me just minimize this i'll open audacity so by default audacity has picked my microphone as microphone usb multimedia you can also do same and then when i'm done i will just click on record <music> I have enabled playback in Audacity. That's how come when I record, I'm able to hear myself, um, the song that I play. I'm able to hear the playback again. Okay, so without wasting much time, I'm going to also show you how you'll be able to do that in um, in Adobe Audition. All right, so open Adobe Audition and then click on the Edit menu. Now click on Preferences and then let's go to Audio Hardware. Now, when you have selected audio hardware, your default input, you are going to choose the microphone the USB multimedia audio device. I've told you that's the driver name or the identity name for the Lenovo Dock Station microphone um, microphone um, the microphone input. So I'm also going to set my microphone uh, my output to my speakers and then that's what uh, i use for my playback so when i'm done i just click on ok and then i would want to record so i click on file and then new i want i always want to use new track okay 
I always want to use a multi-track session to record my audios. And then when I'm done, I will can rename this one or leave it as it is and then click on OK. So when I'm done clicking on OK, these are all multi-tracks, track one, track two, track three. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to arm this one for record just to make it ready for recording. So now Audition is reading the levels of my sound being played into the PC that is from the mixing console. So you can see the levels reading because I've made this track available or ready for recording. Now I can monitor the sound and hear it in my in my speakers or in my headphone. So when you click on the eye icon, that is the monitor the sound. So when you click on So when you are ready to record, you click on the record button to start recording. You can also click on the um, the eye or the monitor to listen to the playback. All right. All right, so the next is use OBS, what you have been waiting for, how to get sound into our OBS. So you have to open your OBS software and then once you, your OBS software is open from your sources, you have to add the audio input source. So you click on the addition or the plus sign and then you choose audio input capture. You can give it any name. So in my case, I'm going to call it um, Doc Mike. And then I'm going to select the source as microphone or the input as microphone USB multimedia audio device. And then you click on OK. So you can see my audio levels reading. That is the sound playing from my mixing console into my PC through the dock station microphone. So now I cannot hear myself because by default, when you add a microphone in OBS, you cannot hear the playback. So what you have to do is that click on the GI icon or the settings icon and then select um, advanced audio properties and then you will see the microphone's name and then change it from monitor off to monitor and output. One of the advantage of doing this is the fact that um, sometimes when the when there is a sermon going on, I mean, you need to listen to the audio and then monitor monitor the monitor the output that is coming into the um, into the the the, the um, your streaming, okay? So that it wouldn't be like um, at some point in time it might go off, then you might not know you have lost audio in your streaming or in your recording. So it's always good to set it at monitor and then output. So that's one of the advantage of that. So alternatively, for our VMix users, um, this is what you'll be able to do. Um, when you have opened up VMix, you need to add your audio input um, right here. So this is what you are going to do. You click on the add audio input and then you select um, audio input from um, your sources and then your device or your input has to be um, the microphone USB multimedia audio device. So now click on OK to add. So thank you very much um, for watching the video.